I think precision medicine will be what a, an excellent doctor has been always. Uh, trying to uh, bring the best treatment for that specific patient. And what is new is that in the past we used our eyes, our ears to tailor to the needs of the patient. But now with new possibilities and biomarkers, we have a new tool to really do exactly what is best for that particular patient. We come from an era of 20 years of evidence-based medicine and that ex was extremely important because it's good that we try to collect all the evidence. Then we tried to put that evidence as good as we could into guidelines. But of course these guidelines are an enormous simplification of the truth. And now we can do a next step by trying not to lose all the knowledge we achieved for whole populations, but further tailor that to specific smaller patients group and make different guidelines for these different endotypes. I think so, yes, because now we do a lot of things that are unhelpful. Uh, only a, a part of our patients actually respond profitable to a certain treatment. And if we know exactly what is the best treatment for that patient, we're not doing a trial and error system, losing a lot of treatment time, but also time that the patient is still diseased, probably not functioning optimally. So if we can do it in that way, even at the moment the treatments are more expensive, it can be cost effective, I think. If we know fast and precise what is the best treatment? We can treat patients faster, further improve their quality of life and not spend such a long time on trial and error to find the best treatment for that patient. And that will be a, a, a massive benefit for patients.